Hello, everybody. Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies. It's episode, I believe, 14. Uh, yes, I've already lost track. Why'd it go so dark all of a sudden? This can't be good. Oh, well. Hope you survived the night. Thanks a lot, jackass. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is the gimmick of this level. It was dark, then brightens up. Then dark, then brightens up. I mean, it's not really a good gimmick or a bad gimmick, it's just... It's just high. That is what it is. It is high. I never actually fixed the music, so I don't know how loud it is on your guys' side. Actually, I can... There we go. That should be a bit better. Yeah. Stop munching on that. You stop munching on that. You do that. On this level, I don't really worry about having everything in order, as long as something's protected by something else. Be it this plant's protected by the pumpkin, be it this rose protected by the star food. As long as something is protected. See how annoying this can be. Because I'm not even getting any of the good plants we got. Just getting the annoying star food, which is most of what you get. You very rarely get anything on this level that isn't a fucking star food. Kind of compromises a bit. Hey! Why? Hey. I can't really confirm that, because I know it can shoot behind it, which is definitely helpful for, like, the Digger zombies and stuff, but, eh, whatever, I'm trying to focus and play at the same time, and it's not working out very well. One row that I have the cactus on is the one row that hits the balloon.
get a blow or something, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Like I said before, I can't really prioritize any specific strategy just because you can never see what the fuck is coming. And even when you can, you rarely get the plant you need. So as you see, it's almost too late. Good an idea, just not execution. Look at the plant there. Plant. It's all down here now. And this is the cabbage pole. This is one of the main plants you're going to be using during the. Uh, next to our levels. Yes, the roof. Whoa, they even found a way. Whoa, they even found a way up on your roof. You need to use cabbage pots here due to your roof stand. Remember this, remember that, and you're good to go. I can't find a singular voice for him. You bastards. You are annoying. But first. Yeah, this is a zombie you can't find until the second round, but... Spoing, spoing, spoing. That's the sound of a powerful and effective zombie doing what he does best. Um, magnetism is a powerful force, a very powerful. Sometimes it soars, it's... Sometimes it scares Magnet Shroom a little. Sometimes it scares Magnet Shroom a little. He's not sure if he can handle that kind of responsibility. And Cabbage Pole is okay with launching cabbages at zombies. It's what he's paid for, after all. And he's good at it. He just doesn't understand how the zombies got up on the roof in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. Not recommended for this level. Nocturnal sleeps during the day. I do like how it recommends what is and isn't, you know. Well, you, if you thought the lily pad was annoying, you're gonna find something even more annoying on this one. You're gonna need lots of those. I, can, I have no need for the pea shooters. Um. Not going to miss the potato mine either. Uh, um, there you go. A lot of... A lot of boom booms. Um, the cabbage pot, aside from, despite looking like basically a copy and paste of the, uh, pea shooter, in terms of, you know, price and its purpose in attacking, is actually very useful in that it does two damage per every one cabbage. Watch. One, two, three, two, four, six, eight. really help. You might be noticing there's no, uh, no lawnmowers. Yeah, you, you need to get roof cleaners for the roof. It's gonna be helpful, because soon 
we're going to be introduced to one of the most annoying zombie types in the game. I'll, I'll tell you when we get to him. Thankfully, we only have to deal with him for a few levels. I don't think I can get that in time. Yeah, no way could I have gotten that in time. This is actually one of my favorite plants in the game. Uh, I actually have one. The other one, one, what is my most favorite, is actually on the roof as well. I have a lot of favorites now on the roof. You know, favorites that aren't from Dave's shop. Yeah, this is basically the same as a um, two repeat it. So it's a slightly slower firing pea shooter. Cause yeah, it does fire slower. Slightly slower fire in the shooter, you know? but that's the same damage as a uh, repeater. Which I think is neat. Not for you today. Uh uh uh, not today. Uh. Thankfully, we don't find any more balloon zombies anymore. That was close. Those bastards will take your plants and take your pots. Fuck. Okay. That kind of fucked me over right there. This is the p the pot. How is this a plant? Who the fuck knows? This. Very helpful. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a few more levels before we find a way to stop these things. But one more level and we should be fine. Uh, I'm a pot for your planting, yet I'm also a plant. Has your mind exploded yet? Bungie zombies love to take risks. After all, that's what. What's the point of being dead if you don't live a little? <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the plant I, I was mentioning earlier, one of my favorites, right next, if not the next. So I'm just gonna need a lot of, a lot of, of boom booms until I'm able to finish this all off. Already off to a decent set, as per usual. Just 
to be a dick. Not a lot of commentary because I'm. I don't know what I want to say really. I want to focus on the game, but I also know I. If I focus too much, I won't talk enough, and if I don't talk enough, then it's gonna get boring. Um, I do like the concept of the co. Oh my god, that was bad. I do like the concept of the cabbage bolts. And let's be honest, who wouldn't... Who wouldn't just lock... Chunk a... Uh, who wouldn't just throw something big like a... Like a piece of cabbage at someone. I would. If it was a zombie... Or someone I didn't like, I'd totally do it. cannot actually be eaten to my knowledge damage dealing should be fine, but you know what, just in case. Gonna spend a lot of my time. Oh, damn you. weird that I have the same amount of sunflowers for the day as I do at night? Nope, because a lot of the daytime plants cost a whole hell of a lot more. Like, you notice that? I mean, I get they have to compensate for the fact that you don't have the daytime sunflowers or anything. You don't have the daytime sun falling on it or anything. But it's... Well, fuck you!
looks at symmetrical going down the center line. I remember playing uh, a Roblox Tycoon version of this game on when I was a bit younger. It's kind of fun. Actually, I might try and record one of those at some point. This, this is the plane I was talking about, the Colonel Point. Things kernels and butter at zombies. You see, the butter actually paralyzes them for a bit, as well as doing damage, which I think is neat. You. These bastards can climb over the tall nut. Colonel Port pets the eldest of the Port is the eldest of the Port brothers. Of the three of them, Colonel is the only one who can constantly remembers the other's birthday. He bugs them about it a little too. <laughs> yes, there was three of them. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up here for now, guys. Have a good night. Have a good day. For whatever you do, have a great time. Good night, everybody.